Let's go, YouTube! Let's get into it, y'all. We ain't finna waste no time. Look who we got here, man. Baby Jet Face Reveal. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Time be flying, man. Time be flying. If it even exists, we don't know. But, anyways, Go Juice, thanks for the video. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe. Send me some more videos in the comment section below. <laughs> Let's get into it. What's up, Go Juice? We back in on Bumble Clap Video Splack. You think I'm saying yes, man? It's Husky Bob. Back in on Whoop de Whoop. This is a crazy morning. We just woke up. It's super early. Super early. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. We didn't that is not early. Early at all. I wake up at 4 every morning. Feel good. You did. 8 o'clock. What time is it now? It's 9 o'clock right now while I'm watching y'all video. I had a lot of stuff to do this morning, but you know. We eat breakfast, yeah. Okay, coffee. That's good, though. That's y'all love early, though. We woke up really early because we wanted to film. This. I had thought about it. I was like, dang, if I wake up at 4, that means in California time is 1 o'clock. I'm like, dang. I'm like, by the time they wake up here, 9 or 10, Cali is only 7. It's only 6, 7, and I've been up already a whole 8 hours. I'm like, dang, no wonder why I'd be so productive. It's crazy. Anyways, beside the point. Make sure y'all wake up early. This video helps me. Might help you too. The sun is hitting right now. It's really hot. You hot? It definitely hit. So I got cold in my eye right now, y'all. I'm trying to look morning ready. No, you look good. I don't want to look. You look good too. Now I know you can get done quick, so now you got to. You know I can. I could get done in like shit. five minutes. It take mama like three hours to get ready sometimes. No. Ah! She said, she said, she said five. What was she? How many minutes she say? I bet it take her three hours sometimes. I bet. I know a lot of people like that. Make no damn sense. <laughs> I, can. I could get done in like shit. five minutes. She said five minutes. Oh, okay, I can see. I can see. You ain't got to do too much. It takes me like I can see three that. hours to get ready sometime. No, that's like Liz three years ago. No, because you watching oh, TikTok. Oh, so she got faster and better. Okay, okay, Liv. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, that's everybody. That's like when you first start swimming. You ain't going to swim fast. When you first start doing anything, you don't do it fast. Riding a bike, anything. It's like you do it at your speed. And then as you progress and learn, you get faster. That makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Makes sense. I get it, Liv. Okay. Like all fucking day. <laughs> I'm, I love TikTok, girl. I used to, too. I watch YouTube videos. What you, what you watching? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I watching a bunch of stuff. Today, we're going to be revealing Jetty. His yeah. name is Jet, Jet Ozzy. And okay. he's already going on almost three months. Ah. We didn't show him. Oh, it is a he. So it's two boys. Okay. This whole time. Not because we didn't want to show him. It's just. Wanted him to grow. Yeah. Peacefully. And like we show rain right away. We had the camera on his face and all that. So we wanted to just not do the same thing again. Yeah. Yeah. It's nothing like deeper than that. It was just that. That's, that's cool. the reason. But now that he's getting older and like we have so many pictures and videos of him and we really want to post him. We want to show it. And we want to show y'all him. He's a light in our lives, and we're just really happy. And I'm happy I have two boys. I can't even imagine it any other way. Can you? No, no. I love that I have two boys. I mean, we had this conversation before, right. and 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 moving forward, I was like, damn. Reason why I, me growing up without a dad, and I was kind of nervous being a dad to like a, a, a boy. boy. Yeah. yeah. But now that I got my my boys, my children, I love my boys. Like, it's hey. Hey, I understand what he's saying. Um, it's for like, it's a top point for y'all, man. My sister just came back. Um, she got two boys. I ain't got no kids. She got two boys. And it's like, I'm looking at myself like, dang, I had a dad in my life, but he wasn't there. Or he was, you know what I mean? He was doing what he had to do. You feel me? So now I'm looking at like them. I'm like, man, I love being around them. You know, I love giving them that, that, uh, that manly love and appreciation and having fun with him like like a man would, you know what I'm saying? It's the, it's always bringing around women, you know? But it's him, he, he looking at it like he got two boys. Now he able to show them that love and that appreciation that he wanted his father to show him that probably did show him when he could, you know, but he's able to show it more for his kids he able to do for him as he, as he should, you know what I'm saying? So it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, man. I'm loving this. I don't wanna say too much, like I don't, man. I ain't jumping in nobody's situation, nothing like that, you feel me? Pretty cool, it's a good thing, man, I like this. That's one thing I do like about YouTubers. Um, for example, like the Prince family, um, the Ace family, just just any of the families, you know what I'm saying? Um, Queen and Clarence, just you know what I'm saying, just gold juice in general, you know what I'm saying? 
it's young people. These are young people. You feel me? These are young souls, bro. You feel me? Well, old souls, young people, whatever, in a young body. But they're showing, they're showing adult maturity. You know what I'm saying? They're showing adult um, like qualities that even adults don't even show. You feel me? So it's like, it's good, man. It's good. And, and I'm glad that it's on a a big platform to where all the kids and people that watch y'all are able to see the same thing. So when they grow up, they're not taking them lessons from their parents or their grandparents in this case. You know what I'm saying? They're taking the lessons from you guys and they're seeing the correct way to go about situations and how to handle situations from you guys. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's so good about the showing the videos and keeping it real and genuine. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you're not going to have perfect videos. You're going to have videos when you're arguing. That's okay. It's to show the people the, the real life, showing people the real life. Now they understand how to handle these situations and how to maneuver around in the world. You see what I'm saying? Because you don't always get that from home. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to actually get out and be social and talk to people to even get these type of experiences. So it's it's real powerful, man, what these YouTubers do. I ain't even going to lie to you, man. Especially, uh, we can name Mr. Beast. As much as he undid for the whole world in general, like, it's just like, man, it's amazing, bro. It's really amazing, bro. And you can never do that working a nine to five, bro. You just can't. You have no time to do that, bro. By the time you get off, you're tired. You have no time. You can't even, you know, go, go. You can't really do much, bro. So, I'm, I'm thank y'all, man. Thank y'all, content creators, man. Thank y'all, man. For sure, for sure. All right, let's see the baby, man. Let's see the baby. It's kind of hard when, you, when you're trying to. I want to see the baby. Oh, it's a lot of talk. Hold on, we gotta go back down. I can't skip it off. My bad, my bad, my bad. Go back to two minutes. My bad. I have no girls, honestly. Like I'm cool with my boys. Like yeah, I'm cool too. I'm like cool if with my boys. in the future, like down the line, like even if, if we had happens, another boy, I'm cool with another boy. Yeah, I'm cool with another boy too. If we had three boys, you like a boy dad. Tell me if I had three boys, one girl, or two boys, one girl. That should it, it still be five. Those yeah. are rough. Hey, dang, that's gonna be like it's like back when the grandparents used to have our kids. Yeah, eight, like eight or nine kids, like might as well. They probably probably have a. I can see them having at least four, or five. Show for show, easily, easily they better manage that easily. Especially when the other two get bigger, easily they better manage that. I can see that. I'm a little, I'm a little rough here. If he had a girl, maybe he would like soften up a little bit. But he real rough. So my daughter might be rough like me, cause my little sister, my little yeah, sister, my sister, little sister yeah. is uh, what's she eight years old, nine years old? She's like she grown as hell old. though. I ain't gonna lie, she be trying to fight now. My dad got her in the house trying to do boxing lessons and classes. I just told my homeboy about that. We was we was outside. We was at the park, and it was this girl, and she was fighting her dad. He was like. Like, who taught that girl how to fight? Look at her stance. I said, her dad right there. Her dad got to, I was like, her dad got to show her how to protect herself while she out in the streets. Got to show her how to move just in case somebody try to play with her the wrong way. You see what I'm saying? She had a stance. She was, she was, come on, come on, come on. Like, I was like, dang, you feel me? But it's like, they need to know that. They need to know that, man. Come on, bro. I mean, a man could be your security, but... It only take two seconds for somebody to knock your ass out. You feel me? So you need to be your own security at the same time. You see what I'm saying? You need to be your own protection too. But by the time I, I turn around and get there, you already knocked out. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But if you got your own hands, you might knock his ass. I turn around, damn, baby, you knocked that nigga out, didn't you? She's like, shit, I had to. You feel me? I had to do what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I would go to jail if I do. If you do it, we, we can get out of that easily. They'd be like, oh, it's a woman, it's a man. She deserved to knock him out. You know what I'm saying? They'll say some shit like that. But if I do it, they like that. Nah. Hey, y'all was fighting both y'all going in. Like, damn, hey, y'all was just trying to protect my girl. It don't matter. Both y'all going in. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, man, come on. Y'all got to know how to protect ourselves, too. We don't mind, but hey, ain't nobody trying to go to jail. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. She's a boxer. I got to put her in boxing class. My daddy came home from prison. Off topic. <laughs> daddy came home from prison. So I got a stepmom. When I just got introduced to my little sister, I think Rain was just being born. I when she was like two. And I was looking at how I would treat my daughter with my little sister. I don't think I'm gonna do it like how I thought I would do it. My family is rough, bro. My family, we like to do hood rat things with our friends <laughs> and shit like that. Whatever the future holds, I'm with anything. But right now, we good with two kids. Like we told y'all, we been told y'all that. I just wanna give y'all an update like on Jeff. Jeff? <laughs> she say that now. Watch, watch. History repeat itself. Four months later, Jeff's stomach gonna be big again. I'm pretty sure next year. Either next year or the year after. One of the two years, bro. Again. Fitting and sure. baby. Yeah, Jet. I feel like I know him. Like, me and him. Like, I feel like we just understand each other. It's so weird. Same yeah. thing with Rain. But, like, with Jet, he, like, only two months. And I feel like we be, like, communicating with each other. The hell y'all be communicating about? I don't know. Just How the hell you... 
<laughs> that nigga like, just, this the first time I heard of it. What y'all are you talking about? Hold on now. Tell me something. It ain't so funny. <laughs> uh, uh, what is it? CJ so cool? They all got the same personality too funny, man. Yeah. Can't really too much. Stop lying. And I be like, Judy. And you be like laughing in my face. And like we just be giggling with each other. It was just the cutest thing. I breastfeed and I love breastfeeding. They depend like, on yes. her. They know who to come to for that food. Like that's yeah. pretty cool. They come running down a block. I don't know about that stuff. Yeah. Both of them. Ray oh. and Jet. Ray in the morning, eight o'clock, seven o'clock. I'm usually already up. <laughs> Early this morning, I made Ray his oatmeal because every morning he has oatmeal, fruits, he and his bananas and oranges. I'm gonna get out of orange juice. Nah, I'm fat. That's, that's a good meal. That's a good meal. Especially the oatmeal with the fruits. Definitely good. Nice and solid. It'll keep you, keep you full at least until like two or three o'clock. At least. At least. Depending on how big it is, you might be full until five or six o'clock. It, you'll be full the whole entire day off that oatmeal, depending on how much you put in there. Especially with the fruits, get you that extra water with the fruits in there. Nutrients. Mm -hmm. Juice okay. purifier. Or whatever that is. Purifier. Squeeze, the squeeze the, it. Hope y'all ain't skip, because I, I had to go back, because I want to see the baby too. As much as y'all just go in and see him, that's all. Jetty be yelling. When he wants you to get him up, he start yelling. Not crying, not screaming. He'll just like start gibbering. <laughs> And he's forever holding his hand in the, in the ball. He like this. He's a Leo. Big Leo energy. He's fire. His whole chart. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. One of my sister's sons a Leo. Every morning he wake up. He, ah. I'm looking at him. I'm just looking at him. He like, he look at me. Ah. I'm just like, boy. You got to yell, don't you? You, you Leo lion fiery. You got to yell, don't you? Ah. I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm yelling with you. Ah. I'm like, forget it. Let's do it. I'll take that fiery energy. Let's get it. You know, I'm Pisces, so I, you know, I, I take energy. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I reflect it. So I'm like, sure, I'm gonna do shit. Let's do it. Let's let go. You wanna, you wanna yell? Let's go. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. Leo's are pretty. My best friend of Leo. Pretty crazy. He don't yell though. He probably did when he was younger. Oh yeah, he do. Yeah, he do. When that nigga get mad. <laughs> We was playing basketball and he was mad because I kept giving the other team the ball. Like every time it'd be a foul or something, I'm like, yo, give him the ball. He took that ball, I, it was on the third. He took he said, no, you keep giving the ball. We ain't giving him the ball. I was like, bro, I'm looking at him like, bro, I know you a Leo, bro, but you're not going to be yelling at me, first of all. Second of all, we going to win regardless because we playing basketball. We going to win. We win all the time. It's like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So give him the ball. He was mad. He gave him the ball. We won, of course, like always, but he was mad. <laughs> Because, you know, me, I only go with what's true. So if I foul somebody, give them the ball. Because if you don't give them the ball, karma going to hit back instantly. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm like, please give them the ball. I don't play with karma, bro. I do not play with karma, bro. I do not play. It hits back instantly. It's like a boomerang. You throw something out and that jump come back and hit you in your head ten times harder. I don't play with karma. If I foul somebody, especially playing sports, give them the ball. Y'all didn't see it. I seen it. I felt it. Give them the ball. I ain't playing around with that. Nope. Nope. But yeah, it's like too crazy. Big three is fire. <sighs> so oh, y'all yeah, make this video long. I'm sorry, Aries. I mean, I mean, like, what's your rising and all that shit? I'm an Aries sun. I'm a Cancer rising. And I'm a Gemini moon. Y'all don't... Okay. <laughs> I know exactly what I mean. Oh. Uh, in the morning, you're very nurturing. You know what I'm saying? Cancer nurturing, you know what I'm saying? That's why you love the kids in the morning, 8 o'clock. You don't mind getting up and, you know, you know what I'm saying? Aries sun, very fiery. You know, Aries is the first zodiac, so that means they're uh, the kid-like, you know, child-like throughout the sun. So if you in the sun, you'll be more like a kid. You'll be, you'll be bound to go on the playground, go hiking, and do just in the woods, anything that's just kid-like and fun. That's why when y'all went on vacations, you had a lot of fun, because that's that Aries energy in the sun. Um, and then the Gemini moon, though, ah, you can turn into a whole different person at night. That's all I got to say. I ain't got to say nothing else on that. I ain't got to say nothing else on that. All right, let's keep it going, though. I don't know, like, your rising is how people perceive you. Your sun is, yeah, like, your sure. ego. So you do look nurturing. Okay. Who's doing push-ups? The damn lizard right there. Your sun is your ego, and then, okay. like, your moon is your emotions and stuff like that. So Gemini moon, I be, like, here, there, my emotions. Yeah, they can, it can flip. I got Gemini Moon too, so I already know. It's like I can be happy and all of a sudden I can be 
mad as fuck. And then I can be happy again. Then I can be sad. Then I can be happy again. It's like, it's, it's weird. But it's like, once you understand and know how to control it, you, you'll be better off. You know what I'm saying? Positive affirmations do help. There's no way you can be mad, sad, and, and happy at the same time. There's no way. You can only feel one emotion at a time. So with you knowing that it's like it's a it's like a light switch, turning the light on and off. Do you want the light on or do you want it off? Do you want to be happy or do you want to be sad? It's very simple. If you are feeling sad, be like, just be like, I'm happy. I'm happy. Get up, do some jumping jacks, dance around. I'm happy. I'm happy. I bet you'd be like, hey, I'm not even sad no more. Because it's like you can't be. There's no way you can be happy and sad at the same time. It's just not possible. That's part of mental health too. So for anybody that's you know, going through any mental health type things, just remember what I just said. If you feel sad, depressed, anxiety, tell yourself that you're happy, that you're good, that you're fine, that God got you, and jump. Be happy. Dance around. Do some jumping, that do some pussy, whatever you gotta do. Be happy. Do whatever makes you happy, bro. And then you'll see that you're no longer sad. And whatever you were sad about, you don't even remember, and it's like gone, or it just doesn't affect you as much as it did before because now you're happy. And also, you'll find out um, productive ways to move past the sadness and um, to, uh, you know, get it out your life. That's a good thing to do for the mental health clarity. Also, take walks, being in nature, that helps out too, because it's an open field to where everything is able to source in, all that clarity and everything is able to flow in, all that fall, all that anxiety, depression in your head is able to flow out as the cleanness flows in. Yep, 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 yep. And that's part of the air and the sun and everything like that. All that good stuff, man. All that good stuff, man. Now I know why your ass bipolar. <laughs> I agree, I'm bipolar. I ain't gonna lie to you. I know it. I know it for sure. For sure, for sure. I'm not lying. I know that for sure. But I accept it. I'm not bipolar. Now <laughs> Ah, the first step is denial. I used to say that shit too. Like, yeah. No, I you have, said you I have the... reasons to how I feel how I feel. Yeah. But it is, yeah, see, that's what I'll be saying. It's a reason. It's not necessarily, you can't just say it's bipolar. It's reasons, certain things. It's just the person on the outside looking in, they like, nigga, this person crazy. They bipolar. But really, it's no. It's a certain reason to what, what would trigger this. It's a certain reason what would trigger that. That's like you inside a shop and you press this button. That's fire. You press this button, that's water. Yeah, but if you come to me and you press that button, I might hit you with that fire. You press this button, I might be cold as shit. I might hit you with that water. See what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, don't press them buttons then if you don't want to feel that. It's not like it's just come out. It don't just come out. It got to be It got to be somebody else's doing. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to reflect it back. I'm going to reflect it right back to you ten times worse. <sighs> hit you with all them elements. Yeah. You're going to be like, damn, this nigga finna burn me. That nigga put the swords in my back. I'm like, shit, I had to cut your ass up, but I cut you up with my words, like, real blunt. Like, oh, yeah. But that's a good thing, because, like, if I'm mad, I can bounce back real quick. Don't yeah. I? No. Yeah, that's true. No. <laughs> well, not with you, because you're the baby daddy. Wait. No, you're I feel like bad. you, no, I don't know about you. You run when it's smoke. No, what? Yo, you don't come to work. No. That's the Aries. Aries run toward the smoke, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. They be ready for smoke, bro. Like, bro, calm down. They be ready to fight. I be like, calm down. What the heck, them Aries? I man. come towards the smoke with you. Uh, wait, it was. I'm a non confront Okay, I'm a non confrontational person in general. In general. Like, I don't want. I don't want to smoke with like anybody. It makes sense, I just though. Don't you, care partner, of... you signed up for the relationship, so you got to get all the smoke, boy. <laughs> Look, I just. Mm -hmm. I just don't get all the smoke. When it comes to my household, oh yes, I care. <laughs> and I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, I know. Will, I already looked up his chart. Will is a Aries son. So we're both Aries. Y'all know that. He's a double Aries. Y'all dating Aries, Aries. Most people don't do stuff like that. Even though I feel like it, it'll work better. But most people be like, oh, the same Zodiac y'all songs can't talk. Man, yeah, you're stupid if you believe that. <laughs> you're literally just dumb if you. That'd be like your, that'd be your best friend, your, your everything, because it's like, y'all the same. Uh, all right, what else, what else, go ahead. Sagittarius rising. Okay, okay, I can see that, okay. Okay, okay. You cancer rising, Sagittarius. Okay. 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 Yeah. I feel like it's very true. You're very out, Um, what is it called? Extroverted? Outgoing. Yeah, he's very outgoing, extroverted. Very that's true. Yep, that's true about Sagittarius. That's exactly how he is. I taught this one sad girl one y'all one time. Yeah, I used to. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'd be like, Bruh, quit talking to my niggas. 
She trying to be friendly with my homeboys. I mean, you can. T I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's like you gotta be balanced. It can't be. It I had this one chick who wouldn't say shit to my friends. Now I had one chick who would say too much. It's like you gotta be in the middle. You know what I mean? Leave my homie to your homies too, but don't be. You know what I'm saying? Don't take it too far. But at the same time, don't don't just not say nothing to my niggas. My niggas gonna say something. They always gonna say something because that's my niggas. You see what I'm saying? Just like if it's my girl, she gonna say something. You know what I'm saying? If if I'm around my girl and I bring my girl around, my niggas don't even say nothing to her. They don't say nothing to her. They don't say what's up, nothing to her. She gonna feel some type of way. Same vice versa. I bring a girl around my niggas and they, she don't say nothing to my niggas. Like she don't even be like, hey, hey y'all. Whatever. Don't even introduce herself or or vice versa. I introduce her and she just like, you know. I don't like that shit. That shit lame. Very funny. And then his one side is a Scorpio. I don't know about that. I don't like. I don't like that part. What? You not that emotional. Like you really like. I don't know. When I'm like busy. Yeah, like I'm Scorpio rising. That's crazy. So in the morning, I ain't emotional in the morning. I don't give a fuck about nothing in the morning. I'm not gonna lie to you. In the morning, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like you can say anything. I'm just be like. Like, I don't care no more. Like, I just woke up. Like, I don't care. Like, whatever you're saying is going to go one in one ear and out the other in the morning. That's just how it is in the morning. It just is what it is. That's why I tell people, don't talk to me when I first wake up. Don't talk to me when I first wake up. That's the only rule I have for people. Just don't talk to me when I first wake up. Matter of fact, don't tell me when I first wake up or I'm finna go to sleep. Because I'm Gemini Moon. So, at night, you talk to me when I'm finna go to sleep. I don't know what's going to come out. You might get the Pisces, or you might get something dark and evil at night. So it's like, don't talk to me. Like, I'm trying to go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? I tried to explain it to somebody that couldn't understand that shit because they don't understand astrology. So it's like, it's like I was giving them information that they just wasn't adapted to. Anyways, that's beside the point. In the morning time, Scorpio rising. That means I cut through shit. I cut through shit. That means if you're saying something and I don't want to hear it, I'm going to cut it off. And you're going to feel like I don't like you. But that's not the that's not what it is. It's not I don't like you. It's not that I'm not listening to you. It's not that. It's just in the morning, I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> Cutting that shit off. I'm like goal-oriented oriented in the morning. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I try to put balance to it, but it just doesn't work. I couldn't even. No, it just doesn't work. It's like I have to do certain things in the morning. So that way, by the time the sun come up and everything like that, I'm in, in, I'm in that Pisces mode. Out of that time. So that way I'm able to show love for the rest of the world. That's why in the morning, I tend to take time for myself. Like right now, I'm doing this video right now. I'm doing everything I need to do for myself in the morning. That way for the rest of the day, I can be in Pisces mode. I can show love to anybody and everybody. I don't have to worry about the things that I need to do. You know what I'm saying? Then at night, I can go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Because at night, I tend to turn into a demon. You know what I'm saying? What, what, with Pisces, the opposite of Pisces, um, if you flip a coin, you know, heads or tails, you know what I'm saying you got you got you got love on one side and you got you know what I'm saying you got uh evil on the other you got love on one side evil on the other this is just what Pisces is you know what I'm saying I know that it's two fish it's du it's duality it's yin and yang so with that being said the Gemini part of it once it get toward a certain time at night I know for sure I have to take my ass to sleep because if I don't that Pisces love that I showed everybody <laughs> throughout the day at night they gonna be like damn who the fuck is this nigga this is a whole nother nigga this nigga this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's like a whole different personality. But it is what it is. I understand it. It's like as you watch and observe yourself and as you meditate, you do yoga, you do different things like that. You start to really understand who you are. Who you are as a person. Because your family can describe you and view you as one thing. But inside of you, who are you? Because once you figure out who you are inside, then you're able to show it on the outside. Then they're able to see the real you. They'd be like, oh... Nah, nah, I got it now. You know what I'm saying? But it took me some time to learn that. That's why I say know thyself. A lot of people don't know thyself. They know everything else about the world because they're of the world. You know what I'm saying? They know everything else about everything else. They don't know themselves. Got to start for yourself first. The kingdom of heaven is inside of you. So you got to start with yourself first. If I didn't know myself, you know what I'm saying? It would make relationships hard, which it did. So for y'all kids out there and stuff like that, y'all might be going through a relationship and it may not be, it may work out or it may not be working out as you plan. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to actually really look into yourself and see like, what is it the things that you do like, like for real? Um, and what is the things that you don't like, like for real? And you got to stand on it because when you don't stand on it, you tend to get into situations to where you're irritated or where it's just the situation where shit don't work. You feel me? Like, for example, I can put a great example right now. Um, let's say you cold body and the person you talk to is warm body, right? 
So let's say you got the you cold body, so you got the you got the heat on kind of in a way. It's it's on seventy two. We just go over seventy two. That's not high. That's not low. Whatever. We just gonna go seventy two. But then you 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 cold body, so you got the heat on seventy two. This other person hot. It's seventy two degrees. They like bro, it's hot. It's it's burning up in here. It's hot. They trying to turn it down, and now you getting sick. Now you getting sick. Like it's it, it affect it's gonna affect you in a big way because if you're cold, you may be you may be anemic or something. Something like you feel me. So they turn the air down. Now you're going to get sick, but they're going to feel good, but you're sick. So now you got this, you got this person that's sick and you got this person that's good. Now you go back, you're like, man, I don't want to turn this air on. Now you turn the air on. Now this person that's get hot, they sweating, they sweating, they overheating, they drinking extra water, all this other stuff that they don't want to do that's making them feel uncomfortable. Now they coming to you about it and you going to them about it and it's like, it just ain't going to work. It'll never work. Unless one person decides to like, uh, if it's hot, the other person got to take some of their clothes off. If it's cold, the other person got to put some more clothes on. You see what I'm saying? It's like you could come to a middle ground, but it's kind of hard doing that, bro, with people. I'm telling y'all right now, it's hard coming to a middle ground with people. Hard. That's why normally I would say it's much easier to find somebody that's on that same that same ground level. That's like somebody saying, let's go to the ocean. Or somebody else saying, yo, let's go, let's go walk the volcano. And somebody like, I don't want to walk the volcano. It's too hot. So I, said, I don't want to go to the ocean. All that water. I'm not getting that water. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to balance it out. You got to use that Libra scale. That's part of Libra. Libra is part of justice and law. Use that Libra scale to balance it out and see what's the best for both, peop both people. The best sometimes may be to leave that motherfucker alone. You know what I'm saying? Leave him alone and go find somebody that's up to your speed, up to your heat. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody that's just as cold as you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's what it is. Anyways. Let's get the video on. We still want to see the baby. I just want to give y'all a little bit of information about relationships and stuff because I've been through a bunch of relationships and I think uh, a lot of this information is very needed because I didn't get none of this information until I went through it. After I went through it, I'm like, damn, I wish I would have known this in the beginning because I would have known this in the beginning. I would have made better choices. Anyways. Ah! But not emotionally. Like, you don't cry. I'm like, turn sexually. <laughs> you ain't going to be able to get both things. Listen. I guess. And then you're going to get a soft nigga who going to be uh, underneath you all the time, ass person. You don't yeah. be like annoying, and I don't annoy you. You no. do. No, I don't. You do. You, what? No, I don't. <laughs> I, don't. I, don't annoy you. I know she do. I know she do. By your attitude, it don't be like. I don't have no attitude. You be having attitude. I think you just be wanting a reaction out of me every day. No. I think you just be wanting, you like, be wanting a reaction out of me every day. We go back and forth all day. <laughs> it's like when she horny, she don't know how to act. It's like it's like. Okay. It's like when you're angry. You know, when you're angry, you get angry. But she really not angry, you just hungry. Yeah. I'm not getting mad, but she really not mad. She just be okay, Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Jet, but Jet is the Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Aries I know rising. How be. So he's all fire. And he's the only one out of all of us that's all fire. Rain has earth. Rain's the only one that has earth in his chart. His moon is Aries. We all have Aries. Yeah, he got Aries? Yeah, he's an Aries rising. Rain's the Aries moon and we're Aries Sun. Damn. I hope we don't all be in here screaming. No, I'm not. Nah. Aries, he probably gonna be screaming at. He, he probably gonna be screaming at night. Seems like throughout the day he just real cool. At night he probably gonna go crazy at night. Hey, this this is crazy. This is a big family. I like. This stuff. I can't wait till they get their uh big like a big family home and then you know all that stuff. On like more trips and, and rain and all them see, um, maybe like. Disney World and things like that. I seen them see the zoo. I want I want them to see Disney World. <sighs> it's so amazing. Come here, they know not to play with this fire. Oh, it's the is. house of the dragon. Oh. 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 Yo, the house of the dragon. Oh no. That's what we should be for Halloween. That ain't nice. We should be like Game of Thrones. What do I have my white my white dread like the like the black man? I don't like that. Ah. <laughs> she said she don't like that. What do you mean? He said white dreads. You, you do understand all his hair gonna turn white as he get older, right? Like, what do you mean you don't like that? His hair is gonna be white as he gets older. Like, you're gonna have to deal with it regardless, unless he's gonna be bald headed. All his hair, his dreads right now, there is gonna be completely white as he gets older. What do you mean you don't like that? <laughs> the stuff people say, I'll tell you what. Ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Like, I'm trying to be like ganging up. We be watching. It's trying to be fire. House of Dragons, I meant. But yeah. I do uh, just blind. ended the episode yesterday. It was really good. And I hate how they be ending the, the stories because it feel like Nanny about to end it in the series because we got like two more episodes left. 
know. So it's like every it. episode we be in it, like we be in it. We'll like go back. To this <laughs> How the hell we make this about us? It's about okay. Jetty. Okay. I got. We sorry. I was saying I did the same thing. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Y'all made it about y'all. Made it about me and everything. I mean, I guess we made it about everybody. I don't know. But yeah, let's see the baby. Hey, most of y'all probably skipped anyway. The video was longish. Most of y'all probably skipped. So with me, it's cool. I know y'all can skip. Y'all can skip if y'all want to, bro. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping at all. I just didn't want to skip. I didn't want to miss no information. I wanted to watch the video. That's just. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now it's time for y'all to see Jet. Okay, let's go. Jet Ozzy. <laughs> now double applause. Baby, make that hand. Yeah, baby, light skin. Double make that. Hey, Jet. Damn, Jet. Man. <laughs> Say hi. Damn. Oh, he got wheel whips. <laughs> You can tell them big old lips. <laughs> so her skin color though, you can tell. It might be Will. Hey, look at the forehead right here. Look at look at <laughs> He got your forehead! Big old forehead! You got that you got that forehead! I mean it ain't big. Hers bigger. It's hers bigger. That's how I can just tell it gotta be his because his not that big. It's like Twinkie. Like you can put a Twinkie on his forehead. <laughs> you got your lips. <laughs> the other baby did too. I like this. I like this. <sighs> uh, he kind of looked like the other baby. He just liked. He got bigger eyes, I think. Everybody say hi to Jet Jet. <sighs> Jetty. Dang, I can't see live ears, but I think he got live ears. I can just see how they sticking out. I think that's her, her ears. Stick out. I can't see her. I can't see his barely. Look at you and your little white outfit. They stick out a little bit. But I think her stick out stick out. I think these are her ears. Like, the the drooly -booly. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> what? He big. Yeah, he got chubby cheeks. Let us know who y'all think he look like. Hmm. Will? Uh, maybe your cheeks though. Hold on. Y'all is crazy. Y'all let me know. Let me see. Nah, he don't have your head. I'm telling you, he don't have your head. Your head. This is Will's head. Like, this is too funny. I'm trying to see if that's the same ear. I can't tell the cheeks because his cheeks don't pull up. So you can't really tell. He hasn't been smiling that much yet. He's just born. So you can't. Nose. Ah, his nose ain't growing. It's still small. So you can't. A little baby, little. Baby cub nose. Oh, this is crazy, yo. Cheeks, let us know who y'all think he look like. Hmm. Look at him trying to hold up his balance. I feel like he has different features of me and Will. Like, he yeah. has your cheeks. Mm -hmm. And I think he has your head. Yeah, see, I knew I was right. What y'all think? Look at this look. Okay, yeah, it's her cheeks. I see it. Okay. Oh, boy. Who is this? Daddy. <laughs> look at him. He's tired. His feet. His feet so little. I love his like his bottom lips, yo. Look at his bottom lips. <laughs> it like poke out. You got lips like me. Yo, that's how you yours is. That's how the other baby's lips is. Yo, this is cool. That's what I'm saying. He look like both of us. Both our kids look like both of us. But I think Jetty look like Rain more. I mean, um, my mom more. You hungry? I'm gonna try to make him laugh. Ready? Start making him laugh. This is gonna make him laugh right here. <laughs> you're like beating on things. Yeah, you like violent. You like violent. That's good. You like violent. <laughs> 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 Congratulations, y'all. Congratulations. That's crazy. Y'all younger than me. Y'all got kids before I do. I'm 30, y'all. For y'all that don't know, I'm about to be 30. Uh, in March. In March, I'll be 30. No kids yet, man. I've just been chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. You dig? I'm chilling. I ain't, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. So congratulations, y'all. Congratulations. <laughs> he like that. <laughs> Jetty Poo. I got a little makeup on this thing. Oh, shit. I like how white the eyes be. Yeah, Pupil. White. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you like beating your arms. <laughs> 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 
Okay, I'm smiling, y'all. He's going crazy right now. That wraps it up, you guys. That's Jet. Got it. Good video, man. Y'all let me know in the comments section if y'all want me watching any more videos from Gold Juice, man. Amazing, man. Um, looks like they're gonna do a lot of new videos. But I, I like that little tattoo you got right there, Gold Juice. That's fire. But uh, see y'all in the next one, man. Y'all hit that like one. Y'all subscribe, man. I don't know what's gonna come after this, but I'm out. Peace.